Day two here in Frisco, Texas at the USA Ultimate Club Championships, and what a difference from day one. Hey again, everybody, I'm Evan Lepler. On day two here in Frisco, the storm clouds came rolling in in North Texas, and with it brought some rain and some added intensity as elimination play began. The day started with 16 teams in each division, hopeful for a championship, and only four Harbor Championship dreams heading into Saturday. We begin with two matchups in the women's division. First up, Nemesis versus Atlanta's Ozone, a big city bash to start our day. I am your Nemesis! I am your Nemesis! I am your Nemesis! We came out this morning to play our game and forget about what happened yesterday. Our D's offense was just really flowing and connecting and it felt great. We had opportunities yesterday that we just didn't capitalize on, but we just took it away today. It was fantastic. To be at the national championships and win this game just justifies like all of our hard work. We know that we came in seated fourth and we're giving a good fight and we're not going to give up. And we had a rough start, but we're coming back. Final score of this game was 15-7, Nemesis over Ozone. Another great game is Molly Browns from Colorado, uh, Nightlocks from Bay Area. Uh, Nightlock is based off of a Hunger Games reference of uh, berries that they ate at the end. Um, the two main characters eat them together to uh, conquer the big force against them. So we conquered the big force of Molly Brown today by teamwork, relentless positivity, um, and the connections we've built all season with each other. Try to stay with her! Uh, in the second half, we held them off, um, and in the end, we were able to, with great defense, um, great teamwork on the field, with a final score of 14-11. There's a great game coming up next in the mixed division with uh, Slow White from Boston and Ant from Philadelphia. It's going to be a great matchup. Can't wait. We have uh, O at that end. We want to stack close, be aggressive deep, play hard D if it turns. We have a timeout on the goal line. Keep penetrating up, 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 okay? All right, that's what we're doing this half. We are coming out. We are winning our matchup. We are playing with higher energy than them. Yes, oh, let's go! Let's go! Our team is Amp. We're from Philadelphia. Uh, we're a mixed team that really brings together the top ultimate athletes in Philly, and that you know means men and women, and it's really great to see uh, the way that we use both sides of the roster. This game is against Slow White from Boston, a uh, longtime rival of ours who played. Our teams are about the same age. We've been around seven, eight years, and we inevitably see them at nationals. We see them a lot through the year. Take it inside, let's do this one. Hey, hey, can let's we clamp with our marks? Yes. Not with our marks. Personnel. Exactly, yep. marks. No, yep. no loopy around for reasons, okay? Yep. We are yep. shutting down the uplines. Keep working! Watch your Meredith! Stay with her! This game was, was so intense. The sideline was in it throughout. Everyone was moving. We were getting good communication with everyone. Um, and you know, they raised their level, and, and uh, we did a good job of kind of raising on top of that. Both teams had uh, kind of runs where they had an advantage. The last few plays were very intense. I mean, the, the last score was terrific. We, we ran a, a set play where folks and I worked with our legs all game, and we got one big away cut, and that comes from legs, too. Somebody had to you know, step in, throw it with their core and their legs, and, and they got it out there for a nice score to, to see it. Uh, up next is a great men's division game featuring uh, Sakai of Seattle, a uh, previous champion and you know, should be competitive here too. We have a deep game. Guess what? We have a deep game. Yes. Yeah. 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 We don't need to use it all the time. Be who we are. Come on. This is the chance. We define ourselves by this game. Come on, fans. Start now. Yeah. 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 Sakai stands for grinding and working hard and supporting your brothers. Like that's what we've driven with the entire season. And we're going to keep doing it. Um, it feels good to be out here playing other teams. We've been bashing heads against each other all season at practice. It's a breath of fresh air. Today we came out with uh, intensity because uh, we've been waiting for these moments for all season, like five months of work building up into this. At halftime we were really focused on our energy. We had a big first half, took the score up a bit, and we were just rolling. And our goal was not to let that lull fade in and keep pushing in the second half. One of the things that we've been focusing on is competing. That's been our biggest word that we've used all season. It's about having our practices be harder than any game we play this season. And teams are fantastic, 
but that practice, that effort, that focus is really paying off right now. Let's go, We're focused on a national championship because this team means everything to us, and this game is the best game we've ever played. Can't wait for the semifinals tomorrow because it's about Sakai, and we can't wait to show the world what we're about. With Sockeye's victory, the men from Seattle are headed back to the semifinals here at the USA Ultimate Club Championships. And we'll have all the action for you on semifinals Saturday, beginning at 1 Eastern on ESPN3. Here from Frisco, Texas at the USA Ultimate Club Championships, I'm Evan Lepler.